Hello everybody, it's SID Mad Haven here today, and we're going to be taking a look at the Straw of K. Um, keep in mind, with the most recent update for update 6.0, it's a lot harder to be able to do reviews. Just because statistics in-game for console are a lot different compared to what they are on PC. So we're going to be going over just a couple of things, a couple of aspects. It's not really a review, more of my impression on how this tank is holding up inside the matchmaking at the moment and just overall how well it performs so i'm going to be taking you guys with me over to uh tanks gg so the pc statistics here we can go off of let's say the damage the penetration top speed the power to weight so power to weight 16.37 you can boost this if you want to by running the 105 octane which is now a reusable consumable which i find to be worth using on a couple of tanks top speed of 40 and then DPM, we're not going to look at the DPM, but damage 390, base pin 249. With premium ammunition, this tank is capable of doing 298. Now, overall, the hull on this, the frontal hull, 90. It's heavily angled. We're going to be taking a look at that. The turret 254, this is a heavy tank. Now, live model here. So the hull armor, just a little bit of a depression here. It's got 10 degrees of max gun depression. It's pretty good. So maxing that out, it's going to be really hard to pin, even against some tier 9s and tier 10s. So, so far, I've been extremely impressed with this. It's got really good side armor. I mean, look, even with the, pre the standards 249, even with premium, still an auto ricochet on the sides. Can side scrape, really good haul down, and just overall, solid tank. It's got... Honestly, it's it's holding up pretty well inside the matchmaking. I've only put a couple of matches inside of it, but it's a solid tank. Now, I do got a replay for you guys today. And honestly, kind of sucks that I can't do an official review on this, but proper Afka. You know, with the uh, crews that have been out, accuracy bonuses that you're capable of getting on tanks right now, a little ridiculous. It's It's up there. So, proper Avka, we're playing with Blade. So far, it's matchmaking's been pretty nice to us. We're bottom tier inside this match. And, you know, with everything that's going on, the armor models, everything else, gun dispersion values, just, it, it's a little crazy how much you can boost those right now. Almost every single tank in the game, you're capable of getting 3.3 gun dispersion or lower so going over gun statistics right now just that, that's what we're doing impression videos so far though Strav K is holding up extremely well inside the matchmaking even against tens this thing is capable of packing a bunch so you know it's a reward for getting the ultimate season pass so it's 18,000 gold a little bit up there in the price range but if you want to get it I recommend to get your hands on it it is a solid tank Now, Praparovka, I absolutely love taking the right side path. And then, depending on the tank I'm in, sometimes I'll go middle or I'll go left. Light tank. And uh, number one right about now. Okay, so Jack, I took a look here at our teammate. Jack is in the T-92 artillery. Capable of hitting a light tank on the move like that should not be able you, you shouldn't be able to do that at all you know immediately knocking out the enemy light tank which in return it's their only scout that they had and now we have a scout and they don't on proper Afka, which means we are now at a massive advantage the ammunition loadouts you know, it's a, it's a little hard to know how many premium rounds you have, how many standard rounds you have, and how many high, high explosives you have. So right now we can see I have 24 standard rounds, but then we don't know my premium, we don't know my high explosives. That is something for the UI that they do need to fix up just a little bit. Now, the standard rounds on this have over 1,008 velocity. The premium rounds have got 1,523, so they are some fast rounds. They, they get out and they get going. The top speed of 40, um, you know, you see a medium tank turret on this and you think to yourself, alright, I should be 
you know, it feels like I should be going like 50 or 60, but you know, you're going 40. 10 degrees of gun depression, this tank is capable of working a ridgeline without a problem at all. You know, you get up on there, you, you're sitting here with a Swedish hull. This is a Swedish tank, and just the hull armor, the way it's got the pike nose, 10 degrees of gun depression. If you get up on top of a ridge, this thing is an absolute devastating beast. Its concealment's not too bad either. But the exact statistics of it right now, really hard to uh, get out. But for maximum, what you're capable of getting up at max is around 53% to a 44%, depending on if you want to run a full camouflage perk crew or not at the moment in time. But for this one, we're running kind of a mix, a balance. We're going after a little bit of repairs, view range, reload, a little bit of gun handling. And just trying to boost every single aspect of the tank to make it, you know, perform to the maximum that it can. So far off to a slow start. You know, just the way that the matchmaking's going right now. It's Everyone's trying to get used to the new system. It's been out for almost a week. A couple of things that we can probably be hitting up. And I know that there's a lot of people out there that, you know, update 6.0, they're, they're a little against it. They're, they don't really want to like it, I guess you can say. Which is understandable, because it is a pain in the butt right now. But so far, the the three new tanks that they've added. So we had the Strav K, the Concept 1B, and then the Object 268. Those will be in two other videos, possibly later today. So, Yag Tiger, you know, e easy takedown. The APCR rounds inside this with the thousand travel speed. They move quick, you know, and then with the gun dispersion values right now in game, just crazy fast. And right there, we penetrated the Yagaru aiming for the track. Um, the under part of the track, whenever they're trying to drive over a hill, is only 80 millimeters thick, so it's easy to rip through those. So, if you didn't know that, you know now. Coming up, um,. Right here, I don't know who I lost inside the tank because it's the icons are a lot different compared to what they are. You can tell who the gunner is, you can tell who the radio man is, you can tell who the loader is, but then the top two, I don't know which one's commander or which one's driver yet. And it, you know, I put in a lot of matches over the past couple of days too, and I still don't know who they are. But overall, Strav K, it's, it's definitely holding up, and it's holding up well. Now, before update 6.0, I'm pretty sure this tank would be an absolute monstrosity inside the queues. And even with the update 6.0 and all the rework perk systems, it still is a monstrosity inside the queues. So, if you don't got one, get out there, get your hands on one, go absolutely nuts inside of it. Or if you already do got one, totally worth taking out right now. You know, something new to the game, it's always nice to be able to jump inside something new and go absolutely bonkers inside of them. Now, we got a Chieftain that we're going to come up, um, aiming for the drive wheel, trying to hit the tracks in this guy, but uh, we, we didn't exactly aim in all the way, and he hit a repair kit, which I would love to get the assist damage off of him, but wasn't able to. Now, the in-game score screens... I don't really know what to think about these. I like the three, you know, top three performers. I like how they're showing that off. Um, this board right here, not a lot of information on this, except for, you know, basically your standard statistics. And this final board, uh, I'm not a real big fan of the final board. You can't exactly open up. You can't see how far people have drove, how many shots they fired, ricochets, direct hits. Um, shots they've taken, the amount that they've blocked. I would love to be able to see all that information. But with the way it is, all we have is a little board that basically all it is is damage, kills, and assist. Now, that's something that I would love to see fixed, especially inside the matches. Whenever we're sitting there and we're playing, I, I would like it to where, rather than seeing gamer tags pop up, which to me is lack of information. I would rather know what tank killed what tank rather than know who killed who. So, you know, if Wargaming ever watches this video, 
they'll know exactly what I would love to see and ho hopefully they they fix that now the Strav K heavy tank Swedish tier 9 Chuck Norris as the commander if you guys want to use Chuck Norris I'm probably gonna be training the crap out of Chuck Norris over the next couple of weeks so I'm gonna be uh, testing out and seeing how the crew experience stacks and see how long it would take to max out a crew but with all the new crews, they got 30% bonuses along with them. So you have 100% for your regular crews and then 130 on these specialty crews. So they do train faster. Now, Strav K, solid tank. If you don't got it or if you haven't gotten the season pass yet, highly recommend. Get out, get your hands on it. It's a fun tank. They also got skins included on this one. This is the skin that came with the season pass. Um, if you don't want to run the skin, you don't have to run the skin. You can run with regular camo. But felt like showing off the skin because I thought it was a pretty cool skin. Um, other than that, you guys have a great day. Leave a like, subscribe, comment. Uh, I will try my best to reply to comments. Even if they are, again, 6.0. Uh, keep in mind, I would love to see them bring back the older systems rather than all these new ones, which honestly 6.0 wasn't ready to be dropped yet, and they dropped it extremely early. I know PlayStation has had a lot of problems with loading the game and getting blue screens and kicked out, so I, I'm sorry for you guys, but you know, stay positive, and I'll hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.